Welcome back to some more WWE All-Stars Fantasy Warfare. We are now on Coldest Snake. Jake the Snake Roberts against the Viper, Randy Orton. And just because I like his moveset more than the other person, I'm going to be playing as Randy Orton. I will see you right after the promo. Enjoy the promo. And I'll see you right after it. predators slithery slimy demons always on the attack their very appearance strikes fear in their prey their movements can be slow and hypnotic or they can strike in an instant reptile or wwe superstar these cunning calculated animals strike with a soulless determination that usually proves lethal for man or beast randy orton is the viper Jake Roberts is the snake, and the snake had a companion, a gigantic python named Damien. The whole thing with me is intimidation. If I've got a man thinking about what's in this bag, then he's not thinking enough about me because you never turn your back on a snake. Toying with the fragile psyche of his foe was only the beginning. The end came in the form of a devastating attack, the dreaded DDT. DDT got up! Short ride, bad landing. Already beaten and lying prone, the worst was yet to come for his defenseless prey. Oh, we're we're gonna see Damien! He's gotta be 30 inches around! While pythons suffocate, then devour their victims whole, a viper lures the prey in slowly. Then out of nowhere, a sudden attack, a series of quick strikes, and it's all over. Here comes the WWE's Apex Predator. Viper is boiling, ready to strike. The Viper, Randy Orton, stalks his prey, sizing them up for a venomous demise. I think this is the beginning of the end. RKO from out of nowhere. Did you see the ferocity of that RKO? You think that you have me all figured out. Well, you're wrong. I am more dangerous than I have ever been. The Viper and the Snake, cold-blooded and cold-hearted, two malicious competitors. They attack viciously, without mercy, without remorse. A very cunning, a very dangerous individual. That icy stare that strikes fear into anyone he gets in the ring with. Now, these two predators engage in a showdown for the ages. Legend. The biggest man doesn't always win. No, he doesn't. The smartest man, the coldest man. Versus Legend Killer. All he is is the next legend that I'm going to kill. A battle for survival. I've always been the snake you should worry about. You have just made the biggest mistake of your life. A dream match, or more of a nightmare. It's time for you to decide who's the coldest snake in the WWE. Man, like I said, this this one's a cool Welcome fantasy match, but uh, like I said, I would have done the rattlesnake against the, the viper because oh, it's extreme rules. Nice, nice. Did not know that. Yeah, that's just kind of disappointing, but not really. I mean, he is the snake, the, the original snake, now that I see that promo, and Randy Orton see the Viper, which, by the way, did I mention, I've mentioned this before, but in WWE 2K18, Randy Orton is introduced as he is the apex predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. And he is even announced as the winner of the match like that, too. Go win a match with Randy Orton in WWE 2K18, and they will announce it as, Here is your winner. He is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. I just find it hilarious that, you know, <laughs> he's got such a long ring name. I miss Randy Orton's Legend Killer gimmick. That was probably his biggest time, his best time. That was the time in which, if they really wanted him to go over, he should have broken Undertaker's streak, but he didn't, which, you know, hey, that's cool. But then again, he got the best of Taker at other events. Um, more about Taker's streak later on when I talk about Undertaker. Anyway, Randy Orton, Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake, again, before my time, but he was there. During the moments in which Stone Cold won the King of the Ring, so I know Jake the Stick basically from 1996 
I think that was it, right? Yeah, 96. That's all I know of Jake the Snake. And then I know Jake the Snake from being drunk, depressing, and bad. That was out of nowhere, by the way, but that was an arm breaker. But I must say thank you, Diamond Dallas Page. Diamond Dallas Page is what got Jake the Snake, by the way, back on his feet. DDP Yoga, ladies and gentlemen, it works. I think it was Jake the Snake, right? And DDP, yeah. Gotta stop doing the same damn move. Problem is, there's not many moves in the game. Yo, Morton, man. He's got quite the combo. Never been a fan of Randy Orton. Not a big fan. Uh, I gotta say, too, uh... You know, I thought whew, that was a sick reversal. They were going to use him to put over Wyatt instead of him going over Wyatt. Why the hell do I keep doing that move? Anyways, this is a punt kick. Damn. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Wow, the animation. Is this the punt kick? No, this is the Orton stomp. This one's kind of cool. Just because of the last stomp to the face. Oh! But, punt kick. I need the punt kick. Here's the punt kick. Oh, this one's brutal. Oh! They took that move out of wrestling games now. Unless it's still there, I just don't know how to do it. Or what it's called now. You know, Orton have another move. By the way, Orton. You need to go back to using your uh, drop kick. You have one of the best drop kicks ever, and he doesn't use it anymore. Not to mention, he has one of the best power slams, in my opinion. Anyway, as we are sitting here, destroying Jake the Snake Roberts. Look at Randy Orton slithering like the snake he is. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh! From out of nowhere. Sorry. You might have heard it during the promo, but I had to say it, and I had to do it like that. <laughs> Granted that, that's probably terrible, but hey, I totally forgot it was an Extreme Rules match. <laughs> Didn't bring out a single weapon. Uh, poor Jake the Snake. At least he did better than Bret Hart. At least he got one star. Anyway, that's going to do it for this part of WWE All-Stars Fantasy Warfare. Stay tuned for some more. My name is Klinker Roth. I thank you all so much for watching.